Right, let's try this again. Can you see me? Can you hear me? God, I'm turning into Gilderoy Rockhart. Right, well, your first lesson is going to be Cornish Pixies. Right. Thank you. Good to be back. It's, I was doing a little bit of an experiment. I wanted to be able to record the, uh, the chat stream as well, um, but not actually show it in the stream. I wanted to use it during the playback later on, and it looks like Java was sulking about me using two different... Uh, um, well, basically recording two different Java programs at the same time, so I might have to do something about that. Anyway. Um, let's do some Minecraft, shall we? How you people been? The answer to that is quiet. Oh good, I'm live. Just told me I'm live, that's a good thing. I'm so, I'm so glad to know that I'm live. Right. The sound is good. Excellent. That makes a pleasant change. Because normally everything's whistling and I'm blind blessed! Uh, okay. Right. Well, let's crack on. Everyone asked for Minecraft. Well, about half of everyone asked for Minecraft. So, Minecraft is going to be... Um, got a few new builds that I want to show you guys and I want to run through a few little bits and pieces. You've been warned. Right, um, hopefully the pixelation will go away now, because uh, it's not actually it's not actually telling me that uh, um, things are going bad. So uh, hopefully it shouldn't go that bad for you. Um, I've got a good 30 FPS, so yeah, hopefully everything's all right. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is going to be my experimental room where I'm going to be making uh, a few bits and pieces. And the thing that I started making the other day, which I think I want to finish off, is this, which is a mushroom farm. Okay, so what I want to do here, okay, is I, I pinched a bit of mycelium off of the Hell Kitty the other day and planted this, and it spread quite nicely over the area and put a couple of. Uh, um, mushrooms down a few hours ago and they started to grow quite nicely that one's grown in the way so I'll just get that one quickly but the rest are growing all right um, so what I want to do here is just want to make a little room where I can just leave this alone for a few days and then if I want some mushrooms come along flick a switch and the water here will flush down here and wash all the mushrooms into some hoppers at the bottom here okay so we're going to make that quickly and then I thought we'd go on to the maze and I'd show you how I made the invisible maze and then we'll think of something else to do. So the first thing we're going to need is hoppers. So that one points into the, the chest. This one points into that one and that one, final one points into that one. So. Anything that drops in here will go doink, 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 and doink, doink, and of course, doink. Doink being an important word. Let's just test that to make sure it works. So just drop something in there. Doink, doink, chunk, and chunk. So that works. Right. That poor rebellious mushroom growing on stone. Yes, I killed it. It's dead. Oh, what happened there? Uh, it's an X mushroom. Hmm. Hey, they're always talking about mushrooms, making me hungry. Okay, so the other thing, I, the only other thing I really want to do here is I want to put, um, I want to stretch this around here so that the light will go across here. I want to put a, a block of water here; they'll merge quite nicely. And then I just want to put some pistons across here to uh, stop the water from coming out. And then I'll show you it in action. So I start off with a couple of those. And I think we're done with the hoppers for now, so let's grab a few of these. 
And that should... Yep, yeah, that's right. Oh, that would go. One there, one there. Drop a bit of dirt down here so we can see over it. And the redstone, hopefully. Oh, I haven't got enough redstone. One, two, three. One more. Yeah, it looks like the signal's going to low. Uh, uh, put that there, and let's put a pistol across, a piston there, just to make sure the signal's going across. Because I, I'm, I'm never entirely certain with uh, um, redstone circuitry whether it's going to work the way I expect it to. It's always slightly annoying. All right, how are we going to do this? We are going to do this like this. Down to creatures lower, certainly. Option. In sounds, friendly creatures is at 30%. I'll put that down to 10. It's amazing. I sleep at night with all the sound, to be honest with you, isn't it? Um, weather will put down to 50, because quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of listening to those thunderstorms. I mean, I live in the United Kingdom. I'm used to it, but it's just too much, really. Too much, I tell you. Put a block of dirt there. We can then put a piston there. Hasn't activated. Why haven't you activated? No, oh, I wanted that bit of earth there. Okay, so. That one isn't it. No, the signal is not going to go to that one. Why is the signal going to go to that one? Redstone circuitry, so much fun. Right, what if I put it across here? Can't put it on top. Hmm. Right, we need to persuade it to work. So, I want to think of something quickly. Possibly because it's not pointing to it. Oh, yes, we could do that, really, couldn't we? So, let's just extend this down one more. And let's put a block of earth there so I don't fall down that hole again. Right, so we want the actual redstone to go bit further down get some more of that hello Shizzy hello live audio who haven't I said hello to Dokes08 Chrissy Toff hello 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 Mandarin Moon hello nice to see you all nice to see you all indeed just pretending I know know what I'm talking about here in Minecraft so we put that one like that. I think if I go and grab a couple, we'll make a couple of repeaters. That will uh True. Okay, like that, like that. Do you have any repeaters? Uh, I have one, that'll do. Let's see if we can get it working with that. Yay. So if we we have to put it around that way, aren't we? So grab this stuff out. Back and let's just cut our way through all this. Barbarian that I am. So we want that to go like that. Redstone here. Yep, that works. Excellent. Now let's get the other one in place. Be chicken at the moment, so I'll grab that. That redstone that there. We'll put some redstone on that. You want stone slab. We want some redstone on that. Yep, that's still got a signal. Excellent. And if we tunnel down here quickly, we 
we can quite easily put lava dirt there that there excellent that's working and then put the dirt back like that yep that's working and get rid of that and I think we're almost done so let's turn this off a sec Yeah, we just need that last bucket of water to get this going. Almost there. There we go. So the water is just going to flush anything from along that area down to these hoppers and into the chest. And there we go, we've got a couple of mushrooms. The rest I seem to have picked up while running around there. Alright, so we'll turn that off. That goes down like that. And then... This just will just start growing mushrooms again, hopefully. So we'll give that a bit of time. I do love the little particle effects on the, uh, the mycelium. I've never noticed that before. Okay, so... Put a little set of blocks across like that, and actually, let's put slabs across here. You got that block light out, and put the stool on our passage of water there. Let's check that to make sure. Like that, excellent. There you go, quick and dirty mushroom farm. Right, the mushroom should, 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 if you give them a bit of time, grow all by themselves. So. If uh, if that's not the case, we might have to need need to pop in there after we do a bit of um, um, we do a bit of harvesting to go and uh, repick the mushroom, replant the mushroom. Should we just plant one of each and then go away for a few days? Then that'll all grow quite nicely. So there we go, quick mushroom farm. Which I think, to be honest with you, we've got a mushroom farm, we've got an egg farm. It's called the Hell Kitty's uh, Chicken Coop. And are they? Oh, very nice. I didn't know that. Those particles are spores, apparently. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All we need now is a bacon farm. Quite frankly. Uh. Yes, the mushrooms will go underneath it. That should be perfectly fine. If not, what I'll do is I'll just come along later on and do a few more. Um pistons just to raise that area up as we let the water out then everyone should be fine I hear a zombie I see a zombie no I see a cow which is even more scary to be honest with you alright let's get out of here in fact tell you what let's rest and let's get out of here in the morning They, the zombies seem to be spawning an awful lot where the uh, we, ironically, where the player spawn used to be until I moved it. So they seem to be coming from over here somewhere, but it doesn't seem to be the case this time. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. I've got a power three bow for you. Look, the sheep are dancing fools. Okay, hi. I think you guys all know by now that what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this live stream up into episodes and put it up on YouTube, which is going to make for a very busy Minecraft week because uh, the last night, um, my friend um, Sims3 Symbiote and myself, we did were doing some work overnight. We spent about two and a half hours, and this is going to be Spawn Towers Library. So, coming in here, we got a um, little grass creeper there, which uh, the Hell Kitty doesn't like, so that's possibly going to have to go. Yeah, it could be from coming out of those tunnels. We'll probably need to go and fill those in somewhere. Some tunnels underneath spawn towers there. 
which was pretty much the first place we dug down when we first started this uh, this world and we should get rid of them but we've got a seating area here some some tasteful portraiture um an enchanting area and it's going to be another enchanting area here this i'm not telling what's going to happen in here hello team red quake uh, welcome to the stream i'm not going to tell what people what's going to be happening here it's going to be a bit of a surprise and we're going to be building a map room here as well so this area here is going to be filled with a map yeah basically five kilometers in each direction um showing what the spawn world is like I and mean, we've gone up here we've gone down here a little bit we just need to fill it out a bit hello loki uh, welcome back Thanks. I really do like that. I, I, that was one of the first things I, that, were, I thought of this, then I started to think of what I could put around it, and, and basically that's where this all came from. So uh, that's going to be there. Oh, and I forgot. We're going to just landscape underneath it, and the water is going to come down as part of a stream down here. And this is what uh, Sims 3 Simbo was doing last night is the water is going to come down here down here down here we'll have a bit of a waterfally area here and i think we're going to build an island here and the water is going to go down here all the way down here past the hell kitty's house and almost as far as sim 3 symbiote's house where it's going to join the moat. So that's a feature that comes down now and yeah, it just flows down here. And I think what I'm going to do is later on, I think I'm going to take this moat and I'm going to join it down to the river. So it's going to it's going to carry off in that direction down to the river. So it's actually going to yeah, look a bit like a proper water feature, a a a proper um yeah a proper a proper stuff and uh i'm i'm thinking trying to work out the words here thank you chrissy toff thank you everyone i do i do love working with the water it's great got bored with the back of this place so i decided to put some advertising up i don't um you know how i don't know how you guys have seen you know so you often see sort of faded adverts on the side of old houses i was thinking you no know, that would break things up so just imagine these are adverts okay so yeah, he's, that's probably a brand of cigarettes. That's fairly obviously a computer game. I think that one's diet pills. So, there we go. And... Right, the other thing I promised people I would do the next recording I did was this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, I did this for Halloween. I did the... Uh, did the uh, giant pumpkin here which glows in the dark and thank you thank you melody and this little uh, invisible maze here okay so you're walking around here you can't go onto that square um, you can go into these squares you see but you can't go into these squares it's clucking good you're absolutely right okay so Quick quiz, with the possible exception of Mandarin Moon, who I told. Has anyone worked out how to do this? Just curious. Oh, and yes, apparently the colours are a complete mind screw, so I'm really happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll put some music on in a second, okay. <laughs> In fact, I'll do that while I'm waiting for you guys to answer the question. Yes, the invisible maze. Thank you. I had so much fun doing that, and still just like doing this. Yes. Um, How Kitty found me a load of records. Oh, I've never heard that one. Let's do that one. Mellow high. Okay, that's just as scary as every other piece of music in Minecraft. Yeah. 
don't know about you, but listening to that just makes me want to eat chicken. Okay. Invisible maze, how'd you make one? Well, I think I look perfectly darling. Mm -hmm.